There weren't too many that complained when the Raiders took speedster Henry Ruggs at number 14 overall in the 2020 NFL Draft. But back in 2019, when the Raiders took defensive end Cleveland Furl number 4 overall, it was widely regarded as a long reach. Back in 2018, left tackle Colton Miller was looked at as an even longer reach. Due to injury his rookie year, Miller was unable to do anything to prove his doubters wrong. But a healthy Miller bounced back pretty well last year. Now in year three, Miller will get a chance to prove who and what he really is. Not to prove his doubters wrong, but to prove the Raiders right. Miller started his rookie season very well protecting quarterback Derek Carr's blind side. His first tough assignment came in week two against 2018 number five overall Bradley Chubb and he passed with flying colors. He really didn't have any problems with Chubbs, giving up only one pressure and no sacks. And Chubbs had 12 sacks as a rookie, so you can't say he wasn't that good that year. Then in week four, he had to see 2017 number one overall pick Miles Garrett. He started the battle in control of Garrett, who had 13.5 sacks that year. But unfortunately, this is the game that he sustained a pretty bad injury to his knee. And it was at that point that Garrett started to take control and eventually got a sack. That sack was the first sack Miller surrendered in his first four games as an NFL player. And it came after the injury like most of the seven pressures he gave up in the game. Now hobbling, it didn't look too good for Miller in week five against the Chargers. He would end up giving up three sacks in the game and he was formally introduced to Charger outside linebacker Melvin Ingram. After giving up just one sack in his first four games, Miller was starting to fall off the cliff. In week six against the Seattle Seahawks, Miller continued to fall off the cliff. Then Seahawks defensive end Frank Clark abused him as Miller gave up three sacks in that game. Here's the real abuse right here. Oh. With that kind of domination of Miller, you can see why the Kansas City Chiefs signed him after that season. Then in week 10, he saw Chargers second round pick Uchenna Nwosu, an old college rival, and didn't have any problems with him. The Raiders had problems elsewhere on the offensive line here. But Miller did have problems in the game with the Chargers' bigger, stronger defensive linemen. In the game, Miller gave up a sack and some change along with eight pressures. By week 16, Miller is still hobbling and he has to see Chubb again, and it wasn't that bad of a night for him. Chubb did not get credit for the sack on that play, but he did get one of the three pressures Miller gave up that night. If the Raiders had any depth to tackle that year, Miller would not have played a lot of these games. But you gotta give him credit for gutting it out that night. He actually deserves credit for gutting it out past week 4. He did a good job on this night of giving Carr time to find his receivers down the field. Then in week 17, Miller would close his nightmarish rookie season in which he gave up 16 sacks against Justin Houston. And Houston feasted on Miller. Houston is out of the division now, but Miller will see him when they play against an Indianapolis Colts this year. In 2019, Miller came back a bigger, stronger man. And as a result, he was much better in pass protection. In week one, he saw Chubb again and didn't have any problems with him. He 
gave up only one pressure, no sacks, and gave Carr time to find Tyrell Williams deep down the field on this one. Then in week two, he had to face Clark, who was brought over from Seattle just for him. But this time, a healthy, new improved Miller had no problems with him. Here, Clark's gonna try an inside move and Miller thwarts it. In the end, all it does is leave room for Carr to run away from pressure coming from the other side. In week 10 with the Chargers in town, it's time to see Joey Bosa. And he really didn't have problems with Bosa in that game. But he did make a mistake and overset on him once and gave up one of the three pressures he gave up on the night. If Miller had any problems that night, it was with Ingram who got a sack on him. But it wasn't all bad for Miller who gave up only three pressures on the night. Carr gets sacked anyway, but he stays right with Ingram on this one. And Nwosu, battle UCLA-USC rival, gets nada. That's easy work. In week 13 against the Chiefs, he gets Clark again. And he proves week 2 was no fluke. Clark wouldn't see Carr on Miller's watch on this game either. It's just unfortunate Carr still didn't play well in the game. Nothing Clark tried worked as Miller proved to be better than his rookie year. He had a good day against the Chiefs, giving up only two pressures. This sack was not charged to Miller as Carr held the ball for almost five seconds on this play. Now it's time to see Bosa in week 16 and it was a good battle. Miller held Bosa off most of the day, giving up only two pressures. And he gave Carr time to find Williams. But unfortunately he got caught leaning once and Bosa got the sack as a result. But I still say it was a pretty good day for Miller as he stopped Ingram. In week 17 against the Broncos, Miller lunged and gave up a sack. Chubb was injured so the Broncos sent a bunch of different guys at him and he had a few problems adjusting. But overall, he was okay in that game. Miller finished the year giving up 37 pressures and 7 sacks to go along with 4 penalties after giving up 65 pressures, 16 sacks and 8 penalties as a rookie. After a tough rookie season, Miller went back to the drawing board. And it was easy to see that along with getting healthy again, he had to get bigger and stronger. So he did, and when he came back in 2019, he was a much better player. So far, he's shown he has a pretty good handle on Chubb. So Carr should have his blind side protected when he throws the ball down the field against the Broncos. Miller vs. Bosa will be musty TV. Miller has seen plenty of success, but also some failure against Bosa. So seeing how much better Miller can get will decide this one. 
It will also decide how he does against Ingram, whom he's come a long way against. And after getting owned by Clark in 2018, he had no problems with him in 2019. It's going to be an interesting year for him. Watch out AFC West, he's coming for you, because he's looking to prove the Raiders right. Thank you for watching, see you next time.